Stephen, the mayor needed a 6-3 to three vote for this to happen. He got what he wanted, and supporters of the city attorney were shocked. They've been supporting her during the last turbulent year, some of them struggling for words to give their reaction at the city council table. Somebody dared to stand up for what's correct. Dare to say the state ought to pay its bill. Dare to say the charter ought to be followed. Crystal Crittenden went to court to challenge the consent agreement between the city and state last year. She lost. She challenged the hiring of the Miller Canfield Law Firm to advise the city through a possible takeover. She lost. Crittenden lost the job of city attorney gone immediately today. It's clear that this leadership is out of control and maybe it is time for someone else uh, to come in and, and run this ship and maybe it is time for bankruptcy because clearly we're bankrupt on a moral, political, and justice level. Some people in the council audience were so irate they had to be escorted out. So what changed? Council members only gave a limited explanation. The mayor made the case for wanting to appoint his own corporation council and wanting to make that choice. Many believe this was a backroom deal brokered among the mayor, council members, and state officials and was needed to help prevent a state takeover. The pressure that's been applied by the review team uh, that's in here presently, we knew that we had to make changes. So there you have it. Draw your own conclusions. Now, the mayor also took to council seven major financial issues. Will those also help avoid a state takeover? We'll have more on that in depth coming up next hour at 6. Stephen? All right, Jim, thank you for that live report. Our Team 7 coverage continues right now with 7 Action News reporter Tom Waite. And you just spoke with Crittenden. What's she saying about all this? Well, Stephen Crittenden says she has absolutely no regrets and that she never wanted any of this drama. She maintains, as she always has, that she's only followed the city charter. As for today's vote, Crittenden says she wasn't surprised. Well, I've been hearing rumors um, really over the the holidays, but they really ramped up this weekend, so um, I suspect that, that something might be voted on today. Do you have any regrets about any of, of how any of this went forward, or do you do you stand by the, the job that you've done? I stand by the job that I've done. You know, we're the, we're the lawyers for the city of Detroit, and if the lawyers are not willing to enforce the law and abide by the law, then the city doesn't need to have lawyers. And as for why Crittenden challenged the consent agreement that Jim was talking about that Detroit made with the state, Crittenden says the state owes Detroit money and that the charter makes it clear no agreement can be made while money is owed to the city. Crittenden says this was never anything personal between her and the mayor. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.